You have to take control of your food. That's the important thing. You take control of your food. Hi, everyone. It's Greg. Welcome back to Full of Beans. It's a weekday morning. Georgia just got out of the house on her way to work, so it's about quarter of six. And today I'm going to show you what I'm eating. And I'm just about to get my food together, so come on. Putting it all together, there's my rice cake snack and a little bit of sweet potato in a container. And this is the zucchini lasagna from last night. Okay, I'm almost ready to get going and I'm taking Hazel outside here for a quick walk. And you know, the thing about food, if you're gonna eat healthy, if you're gonna eat vegan, you know, until it's, it's vegan everywhere, wherever you go, uh, you're probably gonna have a, a situation about like mine. You go to work and you're just surrounded by, you know, uh, eggs and meat and, and chicken and all that kind of stuff. So you have to take control of your food. That's the important thing, you take control of your food. That's why I spend the time in the morning putting food together so that I can bring, so I have snacks. You know, I have good food and I'm gonna feel good and not be just falling down and saying, oh, I'll have vegan junk food, I'll have those french fries which I do from time to time. It's, it's a little hard sometimes. It's my big giant green smoothie. When it comes to mornings, I'm a creature of habit and habits are this. Um, my green smoothie is what I have almost every morning. And I'll tell you, you know, habits when it comes to health and wellness are really important. You get into the habit of being, you know, healthy, of eating well, of, of getting out and, and exercising. Habits like that are really good habits. So I don't mind being just the same almost every day. Uh, this is a fabulous way to start the day and, and I really love it. Mm, 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 mm. It's the best. Speaking of fitness, wellness, and habits, don't take escalators and elevators. Always take the stairs. You sit in your butt too much of your life, so you gotta find ways to keep moving, can't always be the gym. So I just keep working at it. So it's quarter of nine, got myself to work and it's time for a little bit of coffee and my um, rice cakes, peanut butter, banana, my snack. This is my little morning snack and, and it uh, really gets me nice and settled. So now I can go do you know, emails and design work and stuff. A little bag of dates makes a tremendous snack. I love it. So it's lunchtime and what I've got is Georgia's really awesome zucchini lasagna. It's right here. I'm already partway through it. And then I have some hummus, hummus and celery that uh, I brought too. I've got just a bunch of little bits and pieces of food, but I find that it's the way it works best for me. If I eat throughout the day, three, four times, they kid me a little bit at work that I'm always eating stuff. but. It works out well for me, and maybe that would be a good solution for you too, for the daytime. Well, that was really yummy, and now I'm taking a quick dash out. Loved my quick lunch, and having an apple right now while I walk. Yay. Mmm, good. Just a simple bowl of sweet potatoes. Tell you what though, I think it's time for bananas, and green tea. So just got off the bus here, I'm at the parking lot, got into the car, I'm gonna head for the house, and have uh, one more apple, time for another little snack in the car, just keep going on the fruit. Let's be serious, can you have too much fruit? I don't think so. Okay, I'm finally home and we're gonna make something today that we haven't made before. It's a recipe from um, Veggies Don't Bite. Veggies Don't Bite. And uh, we've been following her for a while. It's, uh, it's Sophia's site has some really great stuff on it. We'll have it in the info section below. You gotta check her site out. This one is, um, a garlic alfredo sauce uh, made with cauliflowers and uh, fresh basil and um, we'll show it to you um, when we've got it together. And there it is. This is a really yummy alfredo style uh, cheesy sauce on this rice pasta made out of cauliflower, roasted garlic, garbanzo beans. You've got to try this out. The link is for uh, Veggies Don't Bite down in the info section. Can't wait to dig in. That's it for food today, and here it is. I'm just about to dig in, like I said. Um, and uh, um, thanks for watching this one. Give me a thumbs up if you like these. Uh, this was a pretty, pretty standard day again, like some of the other ones that I've done. Uh, I had lots of stuff through the day, and that's what keeps me going. You know, I don't get those hungry periods. And, and in the end, I get to eat a lot of fruit and really good fresh stuff. So thanks for watching. 
come back next time, and uh, we'll see you soon.